Assalamu alaikum everybody. I welcome you back to my channel. I hope you are all doing good. Today our topic will be the second chapter from Equipments of Modern Imaging Technology and it is uh, Mammography. In this chapter we will study about what actually mammography is, what is the use of this procedure, what is the preparation in this procedure and how the procedure is done. Else we are going to study about abnormalities that can be detected or diagnosed with the help of mammography. So firstly, it's important to understand what actually mammography is. So mammography is a method by which we can examine the breast. Means it's a type of an imaging test that uses low dose x-rays for examination of breasts or we can say for study of breasts. Because of this mammography, we can actually reveal the early signs of the breast cancer in the patient being examined. Moving forward with the common use of the procedure mammography means why mammography is done. So first point is that whenever a patient means woman or her doctor finds uh, some unusual or abnormal clinical findings near the breast during the physical examination, patient is being recommended to take mammography. Here abnormal clinical findings can be breast lump or lumps. When we talk about breast lump, it simply is a small hard abnormal mass that has no defined size and shape and it's near the breast. And to know the shape, size and the position of this mass, uh, that's the reason doctor recommends mammography to a patient. Second point is that whenever a doctor finds some swelling or thickness of a breast, that time also patient is being recommended to take mammography. Third point is whenever there is a change in size or shape of a breast, that time also mammography is taken. Next point is sense of heaviness in one breast. Next point, nipple retraction means uh, when a patient's nipple is turned inward into the breast or it's lying flat against the breast. Next point is nipple discharge means whenever there is a release of any fluid from the nipple during unusual period, uh, that time also a mammography is taken. Next is breast pain. Next, redness, scaling, a rash or irritation of the breast or nipples. Last point is itchy breast. Important thing to convey you is that whenever we take a mammography, an x-ray image of breast which is received is known as mammograms. So simply mammograms are x-ray images of a breast that can reveal the early signs of breast cancer. Now there are two different types of mammograms means there are two different types of x-ray images of breast. First is screening mammogram. It is the type of mammogram in which x-rays of breast are used to detect the breast genes in women who have no signs or symptoms of breast cancer. Means simply it is done in a patient uh, who are on their routine checkup and it's usually it involves two x-rays of each breast and mammogram uh, through this uh, screening mammogram it's possible to detect a tumor that cannot be felt during physical examination by a doctor. Now the second mammogram is diagnostic mammogram and it is the type of mammogram uh, which is taken uh, to diagnose the breast which has already shown the um, symptoms uh, or signs uh, to a patient or to a doctor during the physical examination and that can be a breast lump, pain in the breast or any nipple thickening or discharge or any change in the breast size or shape. So this diagnostic mammogram can also evaluate abnormalities that are already being detected in screening mammogram. Now the basic preparation that patient needs for a mammogram. First is precaution as a patient is female so it's necessary to know if a patient is pregnant or she's thinking that she may be pregnant. Uh, so she needs to check up uh, with a doctor before scheduling the examination. Next is breastfeeding means if a patient is breastfeeding uh, means giving milk to a ba baby child. So uh, she should notify the technologist before uh, taking the examination. Third one is personal hygiene means uh, during the day of examination patient should not use any deodorant powder or lotion or perfume. Last preparation is clothing means patient is asked to remove her clothing before the examination so that she can change into a patient gown and comfortably her breast is being examined. Now let's discuss how mammogram is produced. 
So as we know that this mammogram uses X-ray machine that is designed to only look at the breast tissue. Means it's that type of machine that uses low X-ray doses to uh, visualize the breast. If we talk about a general X-ray machine that uses high radiation doses to visualize our bones and other soft tissues. But this type of X-ray machine is different and is particularly for breast tissue. So the first step in this procedure is that person having mammograms will place their breast between clean plates which are flat as you can check it on the image being mentioned here. Next above it is a compressor which will push the breast down uh, to flatten the tissue so that it generates a clear picture of the breast. So machine takes a picture in two angles. One angle is straight and another is 40 degree angle. 40 degree angle is captured uh, by the machine when machine is being rotated 40 degrees. So the machine produces X-rays that pass through the breast to detector that is located on the opposite side of machine. Here the detector uh, transmits electronic signals to a computer to form a digital image and these images are known as mammograms. Here one thing is very much important to understand that breast compression is necessary for a mammogram because it holds the breast still and it minimizes the movement means it minimizes the mobilization of breast which can cause x-rays to look blurry. Now the question arises how does a normal mammogram looks. So you can check out the image showing normal mammogram of breast here and the background color is black and the breast will be showing up in gray and white in color. When we talk about gray color it's the less denser tissue of breast that is fat and white in color is the uh, more denser tissue in the breast. Sometimes it happens very difficult in a patient to detect abnormalities on a mammogram because tumor is also made up of a dense tissue and it also will appear in white color. So the more white on the image does not always indicate a health problems. Everyone's breasts are different so no two mammogram image will be the same. Now there are the ways by which we can recognize breast cancer and it depends upon first one is detection of masses particularly their irregular or speculated margins. Next is clusters of microcalcifications. Actually, they are small calcium deposits uh, that look like white spikes on mammogram. You can check out the third image which is showing the microcalcifications. Now, there are other abnormalities uh, that can be detected uh, through a mammogram. First one is cysts. Uh, you can check out the second image showing the cyst. It's actually a small fluid filled sacs. Second abnormality is calcifications. So they are deposits of calciums and large deposits of calciums are called macro calcifications and they usually occur as a result of aging. Smaller deposits are called micro calcifications. Third abnormality seen in mammogram is fibroadenomas and they are solid non-cancerous breast lumps that occur most often in women between the age of 15 and 35. A fibroadenoma might uh, feel firm, smooth, rubbery or hard and has a well-defined shape. This ends our topic. Our next topic will be on mammography equipments. Thank you for watching. Take care.